Hey guys, my name is Sean O'Meara and I'm a health and performance optimization physician from Minneapolis, Minnesota. You may never heard about a performance optimization physician, but I'm one of the first few physicians who has decided to specialize in improving human performance through medical science and biology. So I'm here to talk to you, I'm trying to try to keep this video uh, under four minutes. Really important, a couple markers I wanna to talk to you about, a couple conditions. One is visceral fat, and the other one is sarcopenia. I'm gonna keep this brief and uh, as informational as possible. So visceral fat is one of the most destructive uh, bodies of tissue inside your body that you get. It's actually a manifestation of disease. It's, it's an accumulation of, of, of a type of very inflammatory fat deep within your abdomen, deep within your viscera, surrounding organs that's associated with chronic disease. It's super bad. So I'm gonna teach you, uh, first I'm gonna show you what it looks like by MRI, because I'm a researcher, and uh, I'm gonna take you through how we do it with MRI, but the, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can infer how much visceral fat you have absolutely free instantly watching this video, and I hope you get excited about tracking your visceral fat, and more importantly, getting rid of it. So uh, visceral fat, we're gonna take an MRI image right through the abdomen of this particular individual standing up. And this is what that MRI image looks, a cross-sectional view of that. Wherever is white is fat, whatever is dark is tissue. So this fat in the middle is visceral fat. This fat on the outside is subcutaneous fat. So the red is visceral fat. That stuff will kill you, associated with multiple forms of chronic disease, including the really big bad ones, heart attacks, strokes, and cancer. And the yellow subcutaneous fat is, is really not associated with much disease at all. It may slow down your performance a little bit, but it's not going to kill you and cause the major problems that visceral fat is. So that's what that looks like. Um, here's, I'm going to tell you real quick in this one point what you got to do to get rid of visceral fat by giving you an example. You may have never seen this, this series of images before, um, but you really should pay attention to it. So this individual came in, he's 68 years old, uh, he was a business executive, he had a lot of visceral fat, 5.6 pounds when he came in week zero, and between week zero and week two, in two weeks, you, you can tell he got smaller. Um, so dramatic change in him just two weeks, but look at the dramatic change by the time um, this series had ended in 35 weeks. Uh, he had significantly, his whole shape changed. So this guy did one thing and one thing only. He cut out carbohydrates, processed foods. The food industry doesn't want you to know that, but cutting out processed foods has that much of a dramatic change in your health. So I want you to seal this image, what it looks like in your body. He didn't exercise one minute, just cutting out processed foods. This is what happens inside your body, getting rid of visceral fat. So I want you to do that. Here's my own image from six years ago. Um, I had a little bit of visceral fat, but not, not, as, uh, not all that much compared to my research partner who had a lot. This was him nine years ago, because uh, he ate a lot of rice. He ate a lot of carbohydrates. Um, I, at that time, had been high fat, low carb, following then the popular paleo diet. Did a lot of high intensity exercise. So this is my oblique muscle, because I did high intensity exercise. I had a fairly good amount of, vis of uh, oblique muscle. He did very little. Uh, and look what he had, a lot of visceral fat, but this marker, this white streak in that muscle, that, that is intramuscular uh, fat. That's fat deposition within the muscle, and that's super bad. I had like none of that. It was very lean. So uh, if you got muscle, um, you got fat depositing your muscle, that's real bad. And I'll give you an example of what that looks like. Human marbling is that. This is what it looks like in the steaks that you eat. So this 100% grass-fed cow, cow that eats what it's supposed to eat, grass, and a cow that's fed grains, what is an unnatural diet makes a lot of profit, causes a lot of disease, and that's what's going on with you if you're eating processed foods, not eating what you're supposed to eat. So I want you to get back to eating whole foods and not grains. Now here's an example, a guy in really bad shape, huge amount of visceral fat deep within his abdomen, and because visceral fat is a very different property besides causing inflammation and disease, as a very physical character, different physical characteristic subcutaneous fat. You can't feel subcutaneous fat, you can feel. We're gonna show you one thing that you can do to track um, your, your visceral fat. So um, one, that one thing you do, I'm gonna take off my shirt so that it'll show the difference between subcutaneous fat and visceral fat. Subcutaneous fat falls to the side when you lay down. So I'm gonna lay down uh, on, on the ground here. And if you have a lot of visceral fat, your stomach will stick up like Mount Fuji. Okay, it'll stick up in the air. That's how you know you got visceral fat. You can take a ruler, stand it up next to you, 
and measure straight across and track that number. And as you cut out processed foods, as you get yourself healthy, you eliminate carbohydrates, you go on the, the paleo, keto, carnivore diet, uh, especially the carnivore diet will remove that visceral fat faster than anything. You'll see that visceral fat just van vanish, okay? So um, your, your abdomen should, should, should be flat like mine. Uh, if you um, have a stomach sticks way up, it's sarcopenia. Uh, no, sorry, it's visceral fat. If your if your fat rolls to the side, it's subcutaneous fat. Sub-Q fat, subcutaneous fat rolls to the side. Visceral fat sticks up. Track those numbers so you see where you're at. And then I'm going to tell you about the second marker, sarcopenia. Okay, if you got sarcopenia, your stomach will concave like this. Sucks in. Okay, do you see that? Drops down because your stomach has no your musculature has no tone to it. Your stomach's flat, that nice and healthy. Uh, but if you got sarcopenia, the sign you can get, check, check when you go in your fours here. I figured this one out as well. Your stomach is, is flat if you're healthy. If you got sarcopenia, your stomach hangs. Sarcopenia is bad. And this is what it looks like in this photograph. So you get an image from the side. You stand up, you get a profile view. Me, three years ago, do you see that stomach bulge? Because my stomach couldn't, my muscles were, were already atrophying. They had poor tone. They couldn't hold the abdomen in. And then as I went carnivore, I went even more uh, low carb. It, it became nice. Fat. Look how completely different my whole muscular skeletal system changed. Look how much better I improved. Three years. I'm three years older here. I look actually younger and healthier than I did here. That's because I cut out processed foods, eliminate carbohydrates. So anyway, I want to share this video quickly with you. We're probably at about five minutes. Um, very sorry I went over a little bit, but if you'd like to learn more about health and performance optimization, how to increase your lifespan, how to increase your health span, feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Dr. Sean O'Meara. Pass this video on other people so they can learn about these free markers, how to track sarcopenia, how to track visceral fat, and I'll do some more. On my, I do regular postings and and uh, do other videos on my podcast, Health and Wealth Optimization Podcast with uh, Eric Jungles on how to improve your body. And Eric talks about how to improve your finances. Thanks very much.